Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 30 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. In this video, we're going to be clearing through a lot of the dungeons in the Moonflower Palace. This is going to be a long one. <laughs> Alright. It's been a little while since I've been in this dungeon. But it also seems like it was just yesterday that I was in this dungeon. Bundy. Did we build up Monica's weapon? Yeah, we did. It's the Dark Excalibur now. I believe... Yes. Alright. Well, I want to work on Max a little bit. Since we got Monica to a decent... Level. Any medals that we can get uh, just kind of playing through this place is going to save us some time later. Because there's definitely going to be some grinding going on for the Metalhead Trophy. You can leave all the Metalhead stuff all the way till the end if you really want to, which is kind of what I'm doing. Because I'm just going to kind of find it easier to just kind of have a grind fest while I listen to music or watch some TV on the side. I feel like that'll be the easiest thing to do. I'm obviously not going to record literally like the 12, the 12 hours or something that it'll take me to do this. I'll just kind of do like one, a few floors from each mission and then record getting the last part. Or uh, record doing the absolute last mission, which will probably end up being in the Zelmite Mines. Hmm, this isn't going so well. And Max is dead, because I wasn't paying attention. Still waking up, okay? <laughs> well, they're all enraged, which is not great. Okay, so let's eat some cheese. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she does so much more damage than Max. Wow, two enemies gave her a full level up. That's crazy. Well, let's feed our fish quickly. It's about to build up. Right here. It's like putting the strongest fish with one of the weakest fish ever. Well, let's see what happens to the boost. It should go up. It always goes up. Pretty much, anyway. A Marden Garayan. Okay. Not what I was expecting. But, cool. It's a very ugly color, actually. I don't think... I don't think he got it. No, he did. Okay. We're gonna give him all some boost. Okay, let's get out of here. Because we're going to be in this place for a while. We can't spend all our time feeding our fish. <laughs> Dark coin. Castle eater. Oh yeah. So that's why she's doing so much damage now, because building this thing up gave it the uh, dark effect again. The moon clock hand. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to hit me. Silva gear. Oh. I was just gonna say these guys are pretty strong too. Alright, we gotta start paying more attention. Or this isn't gonna go well. We literally don't have any water. But if you inject yourself with a needle, 
It'll make it so you're not thirsty anymore, apparently. Ugh, that's just bad. Okay, okay. Alright, I got it. Okay, so it seems like we're getting six synthesis points per level now. That's sweet. I think I'm probably going to put exorcism. Wow, I only have 12 exorcism. I'm going to put them all on here. It's the lowest stat. And I usually think it's a good thing to get your lowest stats up first, ideally. Well, we should probably have ultimate weapons by the time we're kind of through this place. I think there's geostones right in this floor, right? Yeah, so we need to get that first. I don't think this is going to be finished in eight minutes. It's pretty much going to be the best option to, uh... Just kind of have, just fly through here on Steve with like the Nova Cannon 4 or something. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to make that one, but we will be able to make him a better weapon by the end of this chapter. Moon Clock Hand. As much as I want to try to be as efficient as possible, it won't always be possible. We will be able to like, do like attack and defeat everything with Max's hammer or something. Like, stuff like that along the way is fine. Although, if we clear out this floor, maybe we'll give the um, speed on this floor a hand. Oh, yeah, right, Max is dead. So that's not gonna happen. We just need to get the Geo Stone and then kind of leave. Oh, let's go this way. Honestly, if we keep going this way, we're going to end up clearing out this whole floor. I mean, if the speed spawns and it's easy, I, I would probably just use the resurrection powder on Max, because uh, this place is one of the hardest ones for Speeda. You can get some really bad spawns and need to do like 10 or 12 shots, and it's very time consuming. I'm gonna eat something, cause 50 HP is not a lot for this place. And we'll put some Cyclone on there next, why not? <laughs> We're gonna have to buy some more Exorcism Crystals. I don't really want to put Smash and Chill on there yet, because Cyclone and Exorcism are so low still. So we'll probably max out her Cyclone and maybe go buy some Exorcism Crystals quickly. We may also just do that after this. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, her sword is going to be a lot better. Yeah, it's like three times more damage. I'm going to use so many food materials, it's crazy. I'm just going to put cheese on the hotbar. Although if I have it there easily accessible, I may just kind of uh, stop playing as well, and then just end up using more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Seriously, I'm not doing too good. Alright. I didn't have a great start to the morning. So it's probably why. Anyway. Wait, is the Geostone even here? Did we get it already? Wow, I don't even re remember grabbing it. Well, there's not many more enemies. I kind of want to... I have a feeling that the speed is going to spawn very easily on this floor, and then I would be okay with using a Resurrection Powder on Max. That is actually just starting to get annoying now, seriously. I've literally used like a third of my cheese on this floor. 
I just gotta be more careful around this thing. They only take three hits too, so it's not like they're super hard. I'm just not playing smart enough right now. Castle Eda. Why would he want to eat the castle? Not what I intended to do, but whatever gets the job done. Let's see what happens. That is not an easy speed, uh. Oh my god, I'm not used to Max being dead. Um, well, that was a good warm up. We'll do better on the next floor. <laughs> How many floors are in this dungeon? There's a lot. You have to run this floor twice, so I'm gonna count that as 10. There's 24, not including special rooms. Yeah, so, the, well, 23 technically, if you are not counting the floor that you have to run twice. Yeah, it's a big dungeon, although the the secret dungeon's even bigger than this one. Ah, uh, okay. That's that's why I don't like equipping stuff like this. I think I remember seeing it closer to the top actually. Yes. The Queen's watering pot. We're definitely gonna go buy some exorcism crystals though. I'm not confident with remembering if Rufio sells it or not, so I'm not gonna go to him. I'm gonna go to the future in Balance Valley. And we'll buy some there. We have 6,000 Gilda, so that'll get us a lot. <laughs> well, not a lot, but probably enough. It's a very, uh, Big mood shift right there with the music. Anyway, we're just going to the one that's straight. It's decently fresh in my mind because of uh, the last part we went here. So remember. Alright, sweet. Okay, 40. That's a decent place to be in. Uh, we can get rid of that. I'm not going to use it. I want to keep the others. Okay, let's buy some Smash Crystals. Because they're both going to need those. Now we got to manually run out of here. Card warriors gather. This is a Steve floor, so we're gonna have Steve take care of it. Alright, I think we could ignore the treasure chest if we really wanted to. But there might be mimics, so... Not going to. Okay, let's go this way. This is something that I like about having POW. Because now we know what the most efficient way to go is.
Yeah, these aren't... I think these are actually the weakest card, though, so that's probably why they're taking so much damage. The Jokers and the Diamonds are harder. some premium chicken. Hey, I had chicken a lot. No, I had turkey last night. <laughs> That's close enough, right? Oh, it's still okay. That's very unsatisfying. Having it be at that amount of HP and needing to use another full shot. I don't like that. Oh, well. Alright, here's the spade wardia. Okay, for some reason this guy is stronger. Monica's probably stronger than the Ride Pod against this enemy, honestly. Well, they're not blocking or dodging, really. They're just kind of standing there. <laughs> Okay, the club is pretty strong too for some reason. Okay, well we definitely have a treasure chest key here at 30. <laughs> uh, where is it? We have 14, okay. Oh, lamb sword, huh? I don't remember what this one is exactly, it's like... It's super weak. And then at some random part of the day, it's like super duper strong. Okay, where is it? What is it? Okay, so yeah, right now it's in super strong mode. <laughs> but it's not always like that. Okay, it's mid. I think it's 4 a.m. I think it's like when it's dark outside, it's strong, and when it's bright outside, it's weak. Pretty sure it's something like that. These things give a lot of experience. We could probably buy almost all of the kits, honestly. <laughs> Here's a Joker. Alright, yeah, he's pretty strong. I think the I think these guys deal damage like King Mimics, so they'll just kinda of have your HP and then have it again. But at a certain point they'll just take you out. Okay, we gotta fix up our weapon. How many more weapon powder do we have? Or how much more? 15, okay, we have a lot. We don't really have to worry about that or anything. Yeah, I really feel like the diamond should be stronger than the spade. It just kind of makes sense. Elon. What a cheater. <laughs> this is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would, so I'm just gonna kinda run pa oh my goodness. There we go. Just gonna kinda run past that. Although I don't think there's mimics yet, so we don't really need to open these chests, but I'm still going to anyway. I'm still going to anyway. Okay, sweet. Double shots are nice. There's our crystal. Oh yeah, we still haven't gotten the geostone yet either, huh? Alright. 
Well, there's only four more enemies. We really do not need this paint. I don't think we really need that paint for anything, literally. He's just gonna stand there, okay. <laughs> Alright, we got two strong ones and a weak one. None of them can heal, so it doesn't really matter how we, how we do this. Oh sweet, that was double damage. Two for one. <laughs> sweet, there's two out of three. Since we're here, we may as well go get the Spita. Okay, that shot doesn't look horrible. While I don't really like how big this place is for Speeda, there aren't a lot of knockout areas. So as long as you kind of do it okay enough, it won't be so bad. Okay, we're gonna have Steve fly us on over there. <laughs> Not literally, but pretty much. Oh man, the inevitable, the inevitable backtrack. Well, if we took the teleport or didn't, there would have been backtracking anyway. I should have grabbed the geostone beforehand. It would have saved us time, because then we could have just taken the teleport. I'm hoping for at least... sweet. I feel like five is kind of the minimum, so having six is perfect. All right, we gotta do this carefully. <laughs> All right. I kind of want it in front of that pillar, so let's get it over there. Oh, that looked a little bit different than I thought, but it, it's kind of lined up where I wanted it to be. Alright, we got a little lucky with that one. Okay, maybe that's good. Perfect, actually. And it's red, too. We might be able to just kind of do a straight shot. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Alright, that was a pretty good speed -a. I've seen some pretty terrible ones. I think the worst one I saw was like 16 shots. <laughs> it was not nice. Alright, I have no idea what's going to be in here. Ugh. We have so many treasure chest keys, we'll never use all of them probably. Anyway, that's all the metals in this floor done, so nice and easy. Save time for later is a good way to do things, in my opinion. Use a little bit of time now to save yourself later. That's what I li that's what I like to try and do. It doesn't always make sense. Yeah, you know, like this, we're definitely gonna have to redo again later. But what we can do is try and beat the time medal for this, because seven minutes with monster transformation is not gonna happen. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. Even if you have the strongest monster transformation, you're not getting that done in seven minutes. It's not impossible, but it's going to definitely be a lot harder. The evil performer. Just go through this entire place on Steve. <laughs> nah, that's stupid. Well, it's not stupid. But once we get him to a certain experience point amount, he's not really going to need XP anymore. Okay, this is a Mimic floor. So, I think Max War Monica will shine well here. 
since um, Max has a smash weapon and Monica has a lot of smash on her sword now. They'll both do well against Mimics. Here's a clown. You can tell by the kind of transition looking thing. Is that another land sword? No, it's a claymore. It looks kind of cool. Is it strong? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, there's a crap load of mimics on this floor. There's like only th liter literally only three more normal enemies. Okay, we're gonna hop on Monica and have her take care of this. Yeah, she's pretty good against them. Seven minutes to do this is a generous amount of time, so I don't think we have to rely on Steve flying us around. Yeah, we're gonna see that a lot. Yeah, that's more damage than I care to see. Cheese. Noise. I like seeing that, though. <laughs> we needed some. Okay, let's just dip in the pool quickly. Heal on up for free. Kind of figured there was th that this would be a mimic. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this game. Well, if this thing regenerates... No, not that quickly. Maybe by the time we take this thing out... Okay, just don't get hit, okay? Don't get hit, Monica. Yeah, I don't have all the time in the world, so I guess we're gonna play as Max now. Okay, I have no no way of knowing which chest will give me the thing that I need. Because we do need the uh, key to open that door. Okay, cool. It's a good thing we came this way, but this is probably a mimic. Yeah. Kind of figured. We're going to take him out and then just kind of run away. Ah, oh, he's so... Steve is so weak. Monica does like double the damage than he does. Well, our Nova Cannon is kind of outdated now. So now Steve is just a high, a high move speed guy. He doesn't actually do any damage. It doesn't seem like Max does any damage either. Yeah, there's gonna, we're gonna see a lot of that. Okay, that's that was that was pretty terrible. Okay, well, at least we're not poisoned. Okay. Well, there's six more chests, so there's probably like three more mimics at least. Maybe more. Okay, don't die. Yes, kind of figured. For literal boxes with mouths, these things are pretty strong, HP-wise. This is actually starting to take a bit of time, so now I'm not 100% sure if we'll beat the time challenge. Well, I'm not giving up yet. But maybe we'll just hop on Monica since she's so OP. <laughs> We'll just start with what we definitely know is an enemy. Okay, don't die. Uh, 
At least one of these is a Mimic, and there's possibly more. Yeah, she does really big damage against these things. Okay, there's one more enemy. It's this Mimic right over here. So let's handle it. Okay. Did we beat the time challenge? Sweet. With a minute to spare. Alright, well, this actually seems like a decently easy shot. We have exactly the amount that we need to get it done. As long as we don't mess it up. Ah, I even gave ourselves an ex gave ourselves an extra shot. So this will make it a little easier. I'm just going to kind of knock this up gently and kind of try and get it to turn red. And that was absolutely useless. Okay. Well, there's a very high chance that we're not going to make this shot. Okay, if I'm looking at the mini-map properly, then this might be what we need. As long as I don't hit it too hard. Okay. Okay. I'm the only one who can... No. I'm not the only one who can mess up a shot that easily, but it definitely makes sense that I did. Let's grab this thing. Maybe it'll uh, fix our weapons for us. Or it'll just make things worse. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we're just going to go on over the Cedric and have him fix us up. Steve is starting to run low anyway, so it's probably not a bad idea. Alright, see you in a sec. Alright, it's time to enter the Zombie Zone. If it loads. Noise, there we go. So we're supposed to not heal on this floor. Well, we have two shots. Okay, there we go, yeah. Well, I guess we're not playing as Max anymore. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna, yeah. Because he, because he kind of got poisoned, I'm just going to fly around this floor and hunt the Geostone and the, um... Enemy. This enemy right here. Well, since we're super quick, we may as well just kind of leave anyway. We're already going to have to run this floor a second time to begin with, so let's just get out of here. So, this time we are going through the moon door, and the next one we're going to need to go through the sun door. It's easy enough, I suppose. Oh yeah, I bought some shield kits for Steve. I did that off camera when I had him fix up all our- when I had Cedric fix all our stuff. Okay, let's just- Alright, there's our metal. Okay, let's just leave and then come back in. Alright, now we need to run this floor again, and we're just going to go the, uh, sun route this time instead. We might be able to, uh, do this floor in the time mode, or uh, we might be able to beat the time challenge for this floor, so we can give it a try. Now it looks like this map has a new layout this time anyway. It looks clean, so who knows, maybe it's better. I lost 6 HP by picking this thing up. Okay, okay. Oh wow. Do a lot of damage, actually. That thing's barf attack is very slow. 
Ugh. All right. Okay. 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 Anyway. <laughs> May as well use these. All right, yeah. So we need to get a new core before we can use the other ones. That's fine. Okay, this is a very small condensed map, so this should be very doable. Okay, <laughs> we'll use our hammer for this guy. Okay. All right, you're coming with me. This is not very efficient. Uh, I thought this thing was a little bit closer. Fire Drake, huh? What, 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 what was that? The thing is dazed and it still recovers that easily. This isn't going so well. Let's just have Monica carry us. <laughs> With her massive damage. With her beyond massive damage. Let's see if this thing will heal us. Maybe it'll break our weapons again, who knows. Okay. Okay, I'm not complaining about that. Sweet. I'm not gonna take that one. Max is so weak against the, that thing, seriously. I have one HP left, that's so lucky. Okay, so cheese heals 120 hit points, that's good to know. Well, we already got the healing metal, so it doesn't matter that we healed. Okay, that's annoying. Got some premium chicken. And some more monsters. Yeah, I really need to level up her armband. But not in this floor. <laughs> we might hop on Steve, possibly. Okay, we're getting a lot of that chicken, which I'm happy about. Life is always better with chicken, right? I don't want to. I don't want him to die, and I don't really want to heal him. So let's just handle this. Oh, look at that damage! That thing is so weak. Well, Steve is just super strong, actually. He has maximum defense, almost. He has, like, twice the armor that Max and Monica do. So it only makes sense that he takes significantly less damage. He also just has a much larger HP pool, so... These things aren't really a threat against him. Still not a... Still a good idea to avoid getting hit, though. <laughs> Probably. Oh, the thing freaking heal. I forgot that those enemies do that. Okay, we got a Castle Eater and Crow Priest and Bundy. Isn't that the name of an actor? I'm not 100% sure on that, but it sounds familiar nonetheless. Is that thing laughing or barfing into its own hand? I have no idea. Yeah, Steve needs a stronger weapon. He has high defense, but his attack isn't very good anymore. Okay, so there's at least two enemies and possibly a mimic, we'll see. Okay, we're gonna have Monica do this because she's OP unless she dies. Okay, well, she's still alive somehow. Uh, 
Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> was that the last enemy? Yes, it was. <laughs> we both went down. <laughs> Alright. So we got the metal, which is good. Okay. This should be doable. This should be very doable. We have a generous amount of shots for the actual distance that we need to cover. Although, it's me we're talking about, so who knows what'll happen. <laughs> as long as I don't get greedy, it should probably be okay, maybe. How confident, right? <laughs> anyway... Alright, I'm gonna hit it gently. Okay, I said gently. Oh, well, maybe that's what we needed. Okay, that's not so bad. Then we can kind of get it in shooting range with this shot. So that's not too bad. Sweet, so we have two shots. I can probably just ricochet right here, though. Don't need to hit it too hard, because you never know, it might mess up. We got it. Sweet. So this floor is 100% done now. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> and we're definitely going to open this chest. Oh. Oh well. Well, two floors in this place are 100% done. That's progress. And we aren't even going out of our way yet. <laughs> These are very weird doors. I've never really known what to think about them. We are going to go the shorter route first. I mean, I don't know, I've just kind of always done it like that. So, why not? We're just going to save first. Feeling out of place. Well, when you're only using Monica's sword, of course you do, because you're not leveling up her arm man too. <laughs> no healing on this floor either. That's fine. Well, actually, no, it's not. I mean, if you look at how I've been playing, it may it may not be okay. <laughs> I just got to pay more attention. Oh man, these things are noodles against her, and they do damage through my block. So I should just dodge them then. What what are these enemies actually? I have no idea what they would be weak against. I haven't bothered to buy the uh, monster book yet, so I don't know. I can't just look at them to see their weakness. Evil performer. Oh, maybe they're weak against exorcism, that's possible. It could really be anything, honestly, I have no idea. I'm definitely going to have to take advantage of Monica's charge attack to actually get through this. Ah, uh, one of these things. I hate these kind of enemies. Alright. Sweet. Perfect timing. Beautiful. That was clean. Alright, what can we do for her weapon right now? A lot, actually. <laughs> well, let's just put on 20 holy crystals, because why not? Well, she's definitely going to need more than that already. Oh, I kind of want to get... Uh, well, this won't get it over 100, so we'll just put on more exorcism.
sweet. We used like half the stack of crystals that I bought. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm kind of just leaving Max behind with weapons. I don't think they're weak against exorcism, but I'm doing good enough damage. They could be classified as um, a beast, maybe. I really have no idea. Doesn't matter. We're taking them out in reasonable time, so... No problem. I'm always happy to get repair powder. I don't think I've bought repair powder even one time so far. Ah, oh, I'm such a noob. I should have swapped over to Max and done that, in case of that happening. Okay, well at least we got a good coin. There is a lot of risk now, however, because we need to go through half this dungeon without getting hit once. Wish me luck, because who knows how that's actually going to go down. I mean, we can risk it and maybe this will heal us. We can do that. Is this going to heal us? No. But uh, it would have been cool if it did. I will take that experience though, so it's not a bad thing. It's not over yet. Well, the darkness effect on her sword isn't impacting her anymore because she's at 1 HP. This really isn't a good situation to be in, but I, I think we can do this probably. I'm not worried about the time challenge anymore, now I'm just trying to do Monica's sword. Those things only take two hits. As long as I take my time, this is doable. And if this heals us, that would also be cool. <laughs> I'm willing to risk it for that. Is another angel. Okay. This is trying to make me become an elite player. That's okay. Although there's no eSport for Dark Cloud too. <laughs> anyway. As long as we do this right, we should be alright. I haven't seen any silver gears, so I think it's really just the fish guys that I need to worry about. And getting impatient. Getting impatient is something I need to worry about too. think we're ever going to need to use that flower, but I mean, I guess it maybe doesn't hurt to have, probably. <laughs> okay, I was kind of hoping for the compass, but we don't win everything. This is very suspenseful. <laughs> is this the magic crystal? Yes. Okay, there's only one more. Just don't mess up, you got this. Okay. Easy. We did it. <laughs> wow, that feels good. That feels so good. Nice. I'm gonna watch this scene. Yeah, we did. With one HP. What? How? 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 How did we do that 
in the time challenge mode. Oh, that's that's awesome. That is actually freaking awesome. That's crazy. What was the time for this floor? Seven minutes? And we got in 15 seconds short. Or uh, we got a 15 seconds beforehand. Oh, that was awesome though. <laughs> and the speed isn't too hard either. So we might be able to 100% this floor as well. All right, oh, that was nice. Okay, don't want to hit this too hard because we don't want to put it into a, the wrong spot somewhere. All right, yeah, so it seems like we have a somewhat generous amount of shots for this too, which is sweet. Yeah, we have two shots to make it in. So even if I Korzak this, we're probably going to make it. Beautiful. Mm, that feels good. That feels really good. <laughs> that was very suspenseful. And we got all the medals. Awesome. It only gets harder from here, too. <laughs> okay, level up powder. That's a good thing to have. Uh, I don't really know why I did that. Okay, let's just do that and bring this down here. I don't like that at the bottom. I want my fishing bait at the bottom. Any time now. Any time now. Okay. Now well, fish at the bottom is cool too, I guess. One more time. All right, I think this is how it was. Yeah, this is how I like my inventory. All righty. Yeah, when you don't get impatient, you can do some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Well, feeling out of place, that doesn't matter because we, we beat feeling out of place. We 100% at feeling out of place. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but we, that's what we did, all right. Living statue. If this floor needs us to use only items, that is going to have to wait. Well, it's a small floor. So we might be able to just kind of do this. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well, we're set up for success right now. Definitely. Okay, Max is just weak. I really need to play with him more. But I'm also trying to do the time challenge mode, so... I might just kind of grind his hammer up a little bit later. And we're just going to play with Monica a bit right now. Oh, oh, oh... No, we're not going to play with Monica right now. <laughs> so we have no choice but to play as Max now. Okay, well, he's good against this thing anyway. Max's gun is probably good against this thing. Yeah. Because it's a fish monster, and I mean, that's exactly what the laser gun's good against. Okay, well this is kind of nice. We got the enemy to level up his hammer, and we got the enemy to level up his gun. If I die though, that's not going to help anybody. So let's eat something. And take a step back. Sweet. Okay. All right, his hammer's okay against it, I guess. We're probably gonna hop on Steve to take care of that guy in the back and to uh, bring us back on over to. Okay. All right, not bad, that's okay damage. That is all right damage. Let's get out of here. 
I don't need those experience points. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but it'll come naturally enough anyway. Or enough will come naturally anyway, I should say. That's proper English. It's 7 a.m. Cut me some slack, okay? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's unacceptable. Alright. Well, I think we're just going to have Steve take care of this. The enemies are pretty close together, so I think this is a good way to do it. There's just a lot of these Guardia things. Okay, we're gonna have Max take care of these two. He should be able to manage that. All right, I got a little greedy there and it didn't pay off. If I get hit by that thing again, I'm probably going down. We'll throw a vase at this one, because <laughs> why not? Whatever helps. Oh, I thought that was going to hit him. That would have been like some elite gamer stuff right there. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. I don't really want I don't really feel like healing, so let's just get through this without healing. We did it with Monica, so it should be doable with Max even though he's slower than her. We can always just hop on the ride pod with Max. Mr. Fish Monster. Stolen Eevee. Well, I mean, it adds to our collection of like literally 400. Now, you, got, you may have noticed that I, I, um, I use the money glitch to make, to make money and just buy a crap load of the fishing materials that's needed to increase the, the, the three stats that you actually need for um, winning the Finny Frenzy race. Mimi increases your, um, uh, it'll be easier if we just take a look. I will cover this in a standalone video as well. But, um, yeah, Mimi increases endurance, and the Eevee increases stamina, and the Minnow increases your boost, and those are the three stats that you need to win the Finny Frenzy. I will cover that in a standalone video, too, for everyone who hasn't watched this very random part midway through this random video. <laughs> oh my goodness! Alright, we're back. There is literally one enemy left. I'm really not r trying to take this chance right here, so I'm just gonna eat something with Monica. Now if I get hit, it's not game over, because I do not want to restart this again. Yeah, yeah, like that right there. Yeah, like, like, like that right there. It's a good thing I healed, isn't it? Okay, all right. There we go, there we go. Okay. Yes, okay. And we got the shortest wipeout medal, which is good. Um... Yeah, so this time actually Max died. Um, this seems very doable though, so we are going to do it. Alright. Where's the, where's our resurrection powder? Right here. This should be doable. <laughs> Just gonna line it up nicely like that, not too hard. 
And... Okay. Alright, yeah. Well, I mean, that's not terrible. It's kind of got to where we needed it to go anyway, so maybe it's a good thing. Oh yeah, this thing's in shooting distance now, so I think we're kind of okay. I probably hit it too hard just to kind of get into the... Well, I have nothing to say. De definitely 100% intended for that to happen. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Treasure chest keys. No, literal, literal gold. <laughs> That's okay. It might sit now. Oh, we need at least one more anyway. You can uh, get one of the monster transformation badges by using those gold bars. Well, we're done in here. You got two out of three medals. We'll have to come back again at a later time to do the item portion, but that's not so hard. Danger zone. Danger zone. We're just gonna leave and come back in and get Max healed on up for free. Well, his hammer needs a lot of work anyway. Since we died, we lost all the progress that we made in the previous dungeon, and his hammer was still behind even after we got it up a few levels. So now it's time for some dedicated Max Hammer action. That sounds weird. But whatever gets the job done, I suppose, right? Alright, first off, let's just look at this thing. We have 12 points we can put onto this. I think that putting Beast on here is going to be the best decision right now. Scale probably wouldn't hurt either, but I think we'll wait wait on that one a little bit. Just a tad. We might do scale after beast. Well that was easy. Uh, okay. And yeah, we need to do all this with his slow right hand weapon that's also very weak. Okay, I gotta say, this right here is not very pleasant. This is a very unpleasant pack of enemies. And he's dead. Alright. Well, we're gonna have to come back here later. <laughs> Monica, carry us again, please. Or you can also... Okay. Alright, this, this isn't going smoothly again. I was like super cool earlier and now I'm terrible again. No, it's just impatient. Alright. Well, Ma Max's hammer is just very slow. I prefer playing with his wrench, but you need to do his hammer for the achievement. I already have that achievement, but I still wanted to just kind of get that hammer specifically. Well, I mean, we have the Geostone now, right? So, like, we may as well just get the watering pot and leave, since we're already gonna have to redo this place later. Maybe we'll get lucky in the enemy that has it's just sitting over here waiting for us. <laughs> We shall take a look. There's no enemies in here. Oh, no, there is one. And it's the one that we... Stormy. St well, he's the one who has the key, so let's get out of here. Or, sorry, the Queen's Watering Pot. <laughs> Joker. Sorry, I never really watched Batman. <laughs> anyway, moving on. We got the Geostone. Let's get out of here. 
Let's just skedaddle on out of here. That kind of freaked me out for a second. I thought for some reason we had to do that floor again. Well, I mean, aside from the obvious reason why we need to do that floor again. Okay, it's always good to step out and get the free heal. Well, I don't know about always, because it takes a while. I mean, probably five minutes of this video is just saving. Sorry. No, I cut out some of them when they take longer. Anyway, or when I just don't say anything. Say anything. Oh, so this... Scary women, huh? Now there's the name of this floor, so that means there's probably, uh... The, uh, Miss Gorgon things in this floor, probably. Okay, this is a decent layout, not bad. I've seen worse. Crow Priest. This might level her sword up. Almost. right on the edge. How long has her armlet just been like that for? <laughs> I think quite a while. Her armlet's just been at 99% XP. Alright, cool. There's the level. Alright, here's the Gor- yeah, it's actually even just called Miss Gorgon, okay. <laughs> I'm definitely playing Monica too much, because she is significantly more powerful than Max. And I'm not playing her armlet enough. I'm really just trying to get these time challenges done right now. To try and save time later. Although it's not going to save much time if we still need to grind our weapons up a little bit. Explode! It's not an explosion. All that for a banana. We broke our weapons for a banana. That we're probably not even going to eat because it makes you thirsty. It's annoying to use. You have to use two items if you eat a banana. And then if you eat more than one banana, you're gonna have to literally use... You eat a banana, you drink water. You eat a banana, you drink water. Like, it's it's too much, too many consumables for it to be worth it. Alright, Max can probably handle this pack. Okay, he's decent against her. Okay, this thing does damage through my guard. Come on, Max. You were good against these things back in Balance Valley. The Rama Priest loved cheese. How many points do we get for that level? Six. Cool. Uh, let's just throw some scale on there since there's some scaly things in here. His hammer is probably the thing that needs the most work. Aside from Monica's armband. His gun needs work too, but it's still in an okay shape. Okay, no it's not actually. So Max is just very weak in general. Well, his gun deals decent damage against that fish thing up there. Okay, well, that gave me an advantage. Oh, we got uh, the rock taster. We're gonna have Steve handle this. In approximately five minutes, it will go down. Uh, more like five seconds. Soap. Yeah, literally. Nice double shot action right there. Oh, we got another one of these things, huh? Oh, he. Look at that elite dodge. That was crazy. 
moving at the speed of lightning. I guess that's what happens when you taste rocks. <laughs> no, you couldn't even get close to me. Like three, four hundred experience, not bad. As far as we haven't gotten the magic crystal yet. Let's just pick up this geostone. Alright. Let's see how quickly we can finish off that last section. Try and get the time challenge medal. It's very doable. We've gotten the time challenge completion for most of the missions. Not all of them, but most of them, which is sweet. Okay, that is not very strong. Let's just get on Max. I think Monica's is dead, right? I don't remember, actually. No, I don't think she is. I think I've just been trying to use Max more. Okay, yeah. Those elite heals. I do not like his kick. It's very inefficient and doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, don't tell me Monica's dead. Okay, good. Alright, she still has, like, full HP too, basically. Okay, let's throw that at, at the thing. It's not very effective. Her armlet needs work. I should not get hit by that. If I get hit by that, then I'm probably going to die. Because I don't have anything to remove petrification. Alright, let's do this. Most powerful attack. Well, I don't know about the most powerful, but it's definitely a very... high utility attack. Alright, we got that done. Sweet. That looks annoying, so I'm okay with skipping it this time. Yeah, you might need at least nine shots to do that somewhat reasonably. Alright, so we seriously gotta... We seriously gotta start playing more Max, because he's uh, falling behind pretty quickly. Let's see what the next floor entails. Monster transformation, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and when it does, it'll be like a 15 minute endeavor. <laughs> I don't really like playing with monster transformation, it's also just not very strong. It just takes a long time. The fastest one to level, well, I don't know if it's the fastest one to level, but the strongest one is the, um, Gemron. I will have a standalone video on that soon, though. Let's hop on, see if he's faster. Surprised we haven't seen an enemy yet. We're going to have to uh, fight a reskinned elephant in this floor. That's something Monica would actually be strong against. Alright. Moonflower Offent. Moonflower Offent. Max is weak against it, too. Alright, Steve. Even Steve's not very strong against it. I know Monica would just tear this thing up right now. I think that Monica is stronger than Max at the end game. Like her weapons just kind of do more damage to begin with than his do. Thank you. 
I don't think doing this is that bad, because when I need to come back here and do the floors with, like, items only, I can just have Max do it. And, like, both of his weapons will get experience points, even though he's not using them. So, I mean, that's not bad in itself. You'll get passive level ups, pretty much. The metal for this floor was ammo yeah, monster transformation. As we said, that's not going to happen. Not right now. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I feel like the enemies out here are kind of harder to deal with than the past dungeons. Well, it's just because, like, we have strong enemies here now. They do high damage, and they're kind of like the top end of the harder enemies in the game to begin with. Although I'm pretty sure there's a reskin of literally every enemy in the game in this place. That was close. That definitely would have taken him out. If I was a full HP, it'd probably, it'd probably do like 100 damage at least, because it's in um, stamina boost mode right now or whatever. Or it was anyway. Fire Drake. With basically a thousand hit points. I don't know how many shots that was, I didn't really count. But it seems like it has at least a thousand HP. Yeah, that was ten hits. So it has at least a thousand HP. It has probably a thousand HP. Magic crystal, please. Okay, we've gotten like five chests of gunpowder. Okay, well we had to go this way anyway. Probably just gonna skip the experience from that one. Because we won't want to get the time challenge done. I'm not gonna act like I know why that first attack even hit the thing, but I'm not complaining. Alright, this one's stronger than the Fire Drake. Well, it just has a higher resistance against the elements of the Nova Cannon. Sweet. I like that double shot action. It's good against enemies that don't go down as easily either. I don't think I've seen any mimics for a little while now, actually. Okay, there's probably something sitting in this dark corner over here or something. Yeah, an ice drake. Cool. Noise. Hmm, how many shots do I have for this? I'll try it. I don't really love this one, but I'll try this one. I think that it's doable. Uh, let's just take a look at this first so I kind of understand what it is. Okay, so we need to go past that green thing. Good thing we took a look. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I kind of see what we need to do. Yeah, so it's kind of like over here a bit, I guess. I suppose. So we'll do it about that strong. Not bad. Maybe. Maybe. Um. Okay, this one might be a little harder. Okay, let's just take a look at this. Alright. I don't know if we'll make it past this shot. If we If this doesn't go the way I want it to, then we probably won't be able to do this.
Alright. That is about what I wanted. Cool. Okay, not too hard. I think it's a straight shot now. Sweet. Yeah, I'm glad we tried. It wasn't that bad, actually. Nice. Yeah, it didn't look too bad. I've seen worse. Okay, well that's helpful because we had to use one of those earlier. Well, we're all done in this floor. We didn't get all of the medals, but we got two out of three. Not a bad spot to be in. We are definitely making this easier on ourselves for the grind later on. Alright, last floor before the before the um special room. So we're gonna save. And Steve's actually getting kind of low on HP, so let's go see Cedric. He will make it a little bit easier on us. Why, why Mount Gundor? No, not Mount Gundor. I'm Rada. Right over here. He has the power arm house. Just sitting in here waiting to fix our stuff for f literally free. It's the only thing he cares about, just fixing Steve for free. <laughs> it's the only thing he ever asks about. All right, back to the Moonflower Palace. Crush the undead, it will be done. This is going to be a pretty long video. Oh my goodness, why did I do that? I don't think the animation went through, so it should be fine to continue this off with Steve. Um, yeah, you know what? I don't like that. I, I, I'm i just going to back out and come back in. I'll pick up the Geostone, since it's right here anyway. This way, we will be able to also not have to grab the geostone so it's making it so there's one less thing to take up time so yeah I also didn't really love that map layout so it's probably for the best honestly all right let's do it I'm not worried about the Gilda <laughs> I'm just gonna use the lure glitch to get any money that I need I, I don't really I couldn't be bothered to farm for money in this game anymore because of just how many times I've done it already. So I just use that glitch when I need Gilda now. It doesn't actually impact any trophies, so it doesn't bother me. Alright, let's do this. The evil performer and Miss Gorgon are teaming up. And they're both pretty weak. There's a lot of the performers here, actually. They're like decently high defense enemies, but they're not very strong or dangerous or anything. Oh, well, we can buy the Master Core now. <laughs> Premium chicken. We got the Skull Chief. It looks pretty cool, too. 
some of the enemies in this game do look really cool. Even, I mean, this game originally came out in 2002, and the PS4 remaster was, what, 2016 or 17 or something? But, like, for this, most remasters are just basically a scaled-up version of the original. But the, they look really good for being literally 18-year-old models at this point, yeah. And there's quite a graphic difference between this game and Dark Cloud 1, which is impressive considering I think there's only like a one-year difference before between when they came out, right? Yeah, I think Dark Cloud, just Dark Cloud, came out in 2001, and then this game should have been 2002. It would be really cool if they made a Dark Cloud 3. But they definitely don't have to, though, because this game kind of ended its story fine. Although, if they did make a third one, they'd probably do the same thing again, for where it's just, like, new characters with, like, the same kind of, uh, elements and mechanics and whatnot. This is a pretty big map, actually, so it's a good thing that, uh, we have fast movement speed for Steve. Huh? It smells funny. Maybe because there's something in there that wants to eat you. Is it just gonna sit there? Okay, it's not just gonna sit there, but it's pretty much just gonna sit there. Okay, okay enough. Come on. There we go. That was kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that uh, Steve's weapon's not very strong. This thing was good in High Murata, but it's not so good here. It's still doing the job, but I definitely need an upgrade for his weapon. I could probably build the Nova Cannon too. Miss Gorgon. All right, let's fix his weapons up. Got Miss Gorgon over here. Another one. Like the seventh one, actually. <laughs> I was moving so around so much that I just straight up missed. Oh yeah, there's uh, another evil performer. This is the one that has the water pot. The water pot. All right. Alright, here's a pack of mobs. I should be a little careful here, because they're all ranged enemies. I can't even really see the thing, honestly. I'm taking some damage, but it's fine. Do I have any ride pod fuel? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, we do. How many? Just one? Just one, so I'd rather not use it. Um, you can buy them, buy the Ride Pod Fuels in Chapter 5 from the future. 
uh, for like 2,000 experience each. Um, it's from the, uh, I can't remember which shop it is. It's the one where you get the picture of the electric sesame and the drum can and a couple others. It's not the weapon shop and it's not the item shop. I think it's called G-Tools. You should be able to get it from the G-Tools shop. I think that's the one that's by itself on the second floor, if I'm not mistaken. Take all those experience points. The final one. Nice. That should be two medals. Oh, I don't think I got the time challenge one. Oh, that looks terrible. Um, no, I don't think I got the time challenge. No, I didn't. Wait, that's not the right floor. Yeah, no, I didn't. So yeah, Steve's weapon sucks. <laughs> is moral of the story. Um, I don't really want to do this. One, two, three. You know what? We'll do it. It's a generous amount of shots for the actual narrowness of this, so let's do it. We have like three spare shots, so there's a lot of room for error on this one. But since we're doing it, how about we just don't make any errors? <laughs> the speed of here isn't terrible most of the time, because um, there aren't a lot of out-of-bounds places. It's usually just very long shots and stuff like that. I think Balance Valley can actually end up being the hardest one. The sewers is pretty annoying too, but there's only like five floors in there, so it's not that big a deal. Alright, that should be okay. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Cool. How lucky there. <laughs> All right, we don't want to go too hard right here, but still like decent distance, maybe like that. I think that's okay, probably. Perfect. Cool, I'm glad we did this one because we definitely have enough shots for it. Not bad, not a bad one at all. Yeah, okay, if we can't do this, then that's a problem. We have a very generous amount of shots to do this. Alright, it's basically a straight shot now. Boom. Boom. Nice. Another bullseye coin, huh? Alright. You know, I've never- I've never looked- can, can we spectrumize two coins at once? No. <laughs> yeah, it would have been kind of weird if you could. The Queen's watering pot. Move to the Gaddon. That'll be in the next episode, though. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.